So recently, something pretty crazy happened. A sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. on the NES just sold for over $100,000. As one of the most common games, this is probably pretty confusing, maybe even upsetting. So let's take a minute and talk about what makes this copy of the game so different and so special and why it sold for so much. First, a little bit of history is necessary here, but I'll try to keep it short. In 1983, there was something called the Game Crash, where through a combination of factors, video games were not selling at all, and retailers were left with an enormous amount of unsold games they had to clearance at devastating losses. In 1985, when Nintendo wanted to bring the already pretty successful Famicom over to the US, these retailers didn't want to touch video games with a 10-foot pole. So Nintendo made some changes to the console's appearance, called it an entertainment system, stuck a cute little robot with it, and tried to sell it in New York City. Retailers still didn't want it though, so Nintendo made a super risky deal. The retailer only had to pay them for the systems after they had sold. It did well enough for Nintendo to expand the test market to more cities by 1986, before they launched worldwide later that year. For this test market launch, the games weren't shrink-wrapped. Instead, they were sealed with one of two stickers that said Nintendo in plain text. First matte stickers, and then they switched to glossy stickers by the time the test market expanded. Because they weren't shrink-wrapped, the boxes were also pretty prone to damage just from being on the shelves. That brings us to this copy of Super Mario Bros., currently the only known sticker-sealed copy of the game in the world, with the glossy sticker from the 1986 expanded test launch. The Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt combo cartridge on the NES? Crazy common. The standalone Super Mario Brothers? Still super common. You can get copies of both for $10 or less pretty much anywhere you go. And if you're the collector type, even most boxed versions won't cost you more than $60. But this test market launch gloss sticker sealed copy, as far as we know, is quite literally one of a kind. Okay, so there's only one in the world, and while it's obviously a super culturally important game, you're probably still thinking, so what? I would never pay that much for a game, even if I had a billion dollars. And that's totally okay. I wouldn't either. Collectibles aren't worth that much money to most people. But in terms of historical significance plus rarity, this is probably video game's equivalent of Action Comics number one. The game was purchased in a private sale by a group of collectors, including Heritage Auction co-owner Jim Halperin, so you can bet the item will probably be up for sale again sometime in the future when they feel it's reached a more Action Comics number one level of collectability. And maybe some crazy collector will pay even more for it. One of a kind collectibles aside, thankfully there are still millions of cheap copies of Super Mario Bros. out there and probably a hundred different ways to play it. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know, and as always, thanks for watching.